Hi welcome to Top 10's live YouTube channel before I start please subscribe us and click on bell icon for latest updates. As you watch in the movies, a single document or a file is protected by an entire army of men. It is because of the importance of that piece of paper and the consequences of it might getting leaked and in today's world, secrecy and privacy is becoming a rare and difficult commodity. Moreover secret hideaways and doomsday bunkers are also commonly seen in some thrillers and catastrophic movies which seems like fiction. Did you know that all this might exist in the real world as well and the movies are actually inspired by those genuinely happening incidents around the globe? Here are the top highly guarded places in the world where a normal civilian cannot set a foot without a strict formal authorization. Number 10 ADX Florence Prison All those documentaries and movies you watch on Prison Break might not picture this prison which is the 10th most heavily guarded place on this list. The facility is located in Colorado, USA and it is the home to the most terrible and the worst criminals. It has 1,400 steel doors each of its cell is monitored 24-7 through a computerized method consisting of motion detectors and cameras on each door. Communication among prisoners is almost impossible. If a prisoner manages to escape his cell somehow, he will be welcomed by a 12 feet tall razor sharp fence, which is patrolled by guards and attack dogs round the clock not to mention the huge watchtowers with floodlights and snipers ready to take a shot. Even the visitors are thoroughly checked on multiple checkpoints spread across the premises. Number 9 Mormon Church Records. The church built a facility outside the Salt Lake City of Utah. The facility houses around 2.4 million miles of microfilm. The secret archive contains the family records and legacies of the entire church's members. It is protected by solid granite doors, armed guards and requires several combination codes to get in. Only the members of the church are sanctioned to enter. Number 8. Iron Mountain is actually the Western Pennsylvania data center located 60 miles outside Pittsburgh. It is more like a mountainous fortress which is surrounded by a fence armed with razor-sharp wire. Previously, the facility was used as a mine but presently it houses 1.7 million square feet of data servers and vaults. The Warner Brothers, the Smithsonian Institution and even the, the United States government have their file stores in those winding vaults. The files usually contain photo negatives, original film reels, and precious historical documents such as Edison's light bulb patent. Number 7 The Fort Knox is literally a fort surrounded by huge fences and plenty of armed guards who patrol the area at all times. The building holds thousands of tons of gold, to the United States Bullion Depository and several precious historical documents such as the original Declaration of Independence. Even if someone managed to pass the fences and trick the guards, a 22-ton blast door will await them which conceals the main vault. Number 6 Guantanamo Bay this naval base in Cuba has operated since 1903 although several attempts to shut it down have been made in the past. By 2002, the island facility became a detention camp for the terrorists and the prisoners of war from Iraq and Afghanistan. The prisoners held there are detained indefinitely without a trial and are considered too dangerous to be released. Like other prisoner facilities, this facility is also patrolled by heavily guarded militia and encompassed by electrified fences with barbed wire. Rumors are that the field is also surrounded by active minefield. Number 5 The Tumen River kind of connects China, North Korea and even Russia so it is easy to float in it in order to bypass the borders. Most people who are sick of the atrocities of North Korean regime have tried to deflect towards China through the river, some have got through while some have failed because now the coastline is guarded by the merciless North Korean army. Refugees try to cross near the Chinese border even if it is shallower and freezes over the winter but that spot is amongst the most heavily guarded points now. Number 4 Area 51 if it's a list for most heavily guarded places on the planet, how can Area 51 be left behind? 
This is an Air Force base located in the deserts of Nevada, where nobody can trespass even out of curiosity. Area 51 is said to have been doing everything with the extraterrestrial phenomena, UFOs and aliens, although the United States government denies these allegations. The rumors regarding the area being a base of such secret alien operations has only escalated through the decades. Some people say that the remains of alien bodies and spaceship debris is stored inside for experimentation, others say that biological experiments for weapon modification are carried out in there. Number 3 Svalbard Global Seed Vault This is the most interesting vault and seems worthy of all the security. It was opened in 2008 and is also known as the Doomsday Vault which would hint the eerie uniqueness and importance of it. It is located 8 to 10 miles from the North Pole and was designed to store all kinds of seeds, and by all kinds, I truly mean all kinds. The seed vault acts like a safe deposit bank for seeds. The storage compound's location itself serves as a layer of protection as it has been untainted from all the man-made and natural disasters till now whereas the seed banks of Philippines, Iraq and Afghanistan are destroyed completely. And who is going to travel all the way to the freezing North Pole to steal a couple of seeds anyway? The facility has a storage capacity of 4.5 million seed samples which shall be used in the case of a natural disaster. Number 2 Wikileaks Bunker Even though the whole world knows about the Wikileaks there might be much more to know. That's why it is the second most heavily guarded place on this list. After the 2010 disaster of information leakage, the Wikileaks founder Julian Assange decided to move his servers to a more secure location. He chose an abandoned nuclear bomb shelter in Sweden. Built within a mountain, the servers are lodged hundreds of feet below ground in specially devised chambers. The facility even has its own power supply auto-generated at all hours. Number 1 Air Force One is currently a Boeing 747 jet which belongs to the United States government. It has been serving as a personal aircraft and a mobile command center for the acting presidents of the United States since President Roosevelt's time. The plane is equipped with various countermeasures against attacks and is also shielded against EMPS. Only the United States president and those personally invited by him can board the plane. While in air, AF-1 is escorted by elite fighter pilots and refueling jets which allows the jet to stay in air constantly. If you want to watch a fictional copy of it in action, watch the movie Air Force One. A massive thanks to all of you for the support and love that you've shown us over the past couple of years. Hope you enjoy the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.